what's going on, y'all. Thank you, my man, I've spoken. Letting us know what's going on. So, you got people coming over, you want some food to eat. Let's get some yard bird, chicken when you bougie people. Get your hands a good old wash first. You can't be dirty with it, it's so nasty, so not crazy. We're making chicken wings, we're not just any chicken wings, we're making DJ wings, which means we're having sauces. We're gonna do a ginger buffalo and something mustardy. Something mustardy? Why does it have a name? Hell if I know, that's just how I do things. Ginger root, real simple things in the store. This is probably like 50 cents, if that. Cut it a little bit. And if you don't know what you're doing with a knife, don't be trying to be all extra with it, you know? Hands like this, Tiger Paw. Y'all go on the DJ's Got You Covered and breatheasymusic.ning.com. Get all your latest tips and I'll show you what to do. A lot of people get there cutting it and don't know, you know, don't know what they're doing, like I was just showing y'all. But get a pillar, potato pillar, real simple. Peel the ginger off, because the ginger is real strong. It's not like ginger ale, it's just extra, extra strong. If you use too much of it, you will taste a lot of ginger. It'd be like you're drinking a concentrated soda. That's nasty as hell. Chop this up a little bit. Make some bowls. Make some bowls See, you're just going to cut it. It's kind of like garlic. If you cut it, it's going to stay with whatever you're using. Always wash your hands, keep some lemons around. We'll get them that later. You log on to find all these tips and tools and trade. Tips and tools of the trade. We'll be straight. Get a real nice chop on this joint. And see how it gets sticky like the root right here? You're not worried about that because you're kind of getting the essence of the ginger because you're not going to be eating ginger because it tastes nasty as hell. You know? yeah. Put that in there. Get some garlic. Also use like roasted garlic, anything you get in your grocery stores. Anything comes in the can is gonna make your life easier. By all means, go ahead and do it. Yeah. Pop this garlic out. It's not very hard. I'll show you one more time. Flat side of the knife. You ain't got to whack it like in court. Press it down. Mm -hmm. Bust out all like that. Doesn't matter because you're gonna chop it up anyway. Now sometimes people put this stuff in a food processor or a blender, something like that. You can. There's just more dishes to clean. And I ain't into doing dishes. So, you know. Like I said, if you're not the chopper, tiger claw, you know. So that way, it's going to go across your fingertips, fingers as opposed to your fingertips. You cut them like this, you might cut off the finger. And then I throw it all the food because there's stuff everywhere. I don't know how to chop. Fake it till I make And the food that I like buying garlic pre chop. So all you gotta do is just scoop it in. Especially if you're not into all this cutting and icing and all that stuff as I'm not. So, in the bowl. And on most buffalo sauces that you catch, you either like in your, 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 your family fun restaurants, all they are is hot sauce, butter, and heat. Maybe like a spice or two. Sauce. And actually, I'm gonna get a friend of mine to help. Come on over here, girl. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Alright, great. This is what your job is today. You gotta get that hot sauce in the bowl. That's it. That's all you gotta do right now. I will be bothering you later. She's doing that. You gonna get this chicken seasoned up? Side over side. You good? You gonna cut that cut the toe up? No, you gotta leave that bowl on. That's the purpose of it, because you need that later on. So we're gonna season this chicken up. A lot of people wonder how do I season chicken and remain safe and keep from contamination? Take the damn top salt first. It's not that hard. It's actually pretty fun. All you need is chicken, season salt, pepper, garlic, and pepper. Alright, you go ahead and stir that sauce on, make sure nothing sticks. All that doing that, spread these chives around, make it look festive and pretty. Now, it's an onion thing in there. Thing I'm gonna throw the rest of these in there. Throw these in the refrigerator because these are best when it's cold. Now, how you looking over there? Good. I'm trying to check this chicken oil. Now usually people have a thermometer to check chicken oil, which is usually the best thing, maybe. But if you're using a different pot, something you're not used to, I drop a wing in there and see how it looks when I'm covering it. So when that starts to cook, 
I know the Grizz is happy. Is that the safest or smartest thing to do? I don't know. I would highly recommend you get a grease for one. Did you hear that pop? We and the almost done. We gotta get stuff ready. A lot of people might use an empty grocery bag or something to season the flour some chicken, but it's not sanitary and it's not even practical. You always end up with a whole bunch of flour you don't even need. So what I do is what you're going to do, look at me with a dust stick. Already in the sink. Let's clean up, let's prep, and coat it. Kind of turns the chicken almost to like a batter without actually making a batter. That thing is pretty good. Make them a little gummy. But you don't want too much, you don't want too much flour on there to get it sticky and have a whole bunch of great tasting fried flour. And you want to taste chicken. Just give it a crisp, if you will. So now, chicken has a nice coat on it. Kind of looks like a batter, but it's not. I like chicken. 